Yo, what is up guys, Junior Sex here, and today we have our PTCGO episode 3 of a uh, decklist that, uh, probably my favorite decklist right now, in standard. It's definitely one of the best, it won a uh, uh, regionals, I believe, well, it's the Eveltal Garbodor deck, so, as you can see in front of you, it's probably a really, really popular decklist, and one that has, is known by many PTCGO players, so I'm not going to spend too long going over it. I'm just going to go uh, over a brief description. We have two shamans for setup. Uh, one, Evelto Oblivion Wing. I uh, haven't used this much in my practice game. We have two Fright Night Eveltos, which is really, really useful to shut down Pokemon tool cards. And Pitch Black Rear is actually a really good move to be able to target shamans on the bench. And we have uh, uh, three Evil Boy Eveltos, which is um, pretty much our main attacker in this deck. Evil Ball does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon, which is why we have 4 DCs in, DCEs in this deck. And we have 2 Garbodors, 2-2 uh, two, two Garbodor line. Uh, Garbotoxin gets rid of any abilities in play, so Fright Knight won't be too much help if we get the Garbodor set up. But this is actually really good to be able to shut down decks such as Volcanion and uh, decks that rely on ability a lot. So. Moving on, we have three max elixirs because most of our uh, mods are basic and we want to charge it up. Uh, one enhanced hammer, four trainers mail, one super rod, four ultra ball, four BS seeker, pretty standard stuff. For us, we're running a three, four sycamore end line, um, two lysandres, three fighting fury belts, two flow stones, four DCEs, nine energies, one delinquent to get rid of any stadium. And we're running one parallel city and two chaos tower, I believe, no reverse value. So Normally I would run two parallel cities, but unfortunately I only have one, and I'm too lazy to ask for any trades, so I'm running two reverse values instead, but I would recommend two uh, parallel cities. So, that is basically the deck, and let us go ahead and go to the standard format and find a match. So, let's go on ahead, looking for our opponent here. Um, this deck is extremely reliable and really fast to set up with, so we're fighting what looks like a Garchomp deck. Talonflame and Garchomp, um, probably. So we lose the coin flip, not that big of a deal, I've been losing coin flips left and right lately, but... So this definitely looks like a Garchomp deck to me, which we don't have that matchup against. But uh, we do not have a basic Pokemon to start off the hand, so it's going to get an extra draw, which isn't too big of a deal, unless we keep on getting mulligans again and again. Um, so, we're going to start off with our Evelto here. Uh, this Evelto is not going to do too much this game, it's, uh, especially if he's actually playing uh, Garchomp. We do have Fighting Resistance, which is nice. So he's playing Machop. So this is a Machamp Break deck with Carving, so you want to get that Carving out of the way first because uh, it blocks damage from my uh, Evolto EXs. So what I think I'm going to do next turn is probably attach an Energy and go for the end. This isn't a really good starting card, a uh, starting hand. We have a Shaman, but I don't really want to waste it right now, especially... Uh, he goes for a Sigma straight away, so draining his hand extremely fast. Let's see what he has. He has a Machamp Break, a Shaman, a Lysandre, a Fighting, and a Normal Energy. So, a uh, Strong Fighting Energy and Normal Energy. So, this is looking like a Machamp Break deck to me. Um, should be a really, really interesting match. We are going to go for the end straight away. Those Carbics in the back are extremely annoying. Um, we're going to go for the Parallel City if you try and shut him down here. Yep, let's do that. So now he can't bench any more Pokemon, which is good. Um, he can definitely attack next turn. Don't think it's too big of a deal. We're just going to attach that energy to the Zavolto. And yeah, that should be our turn. So if we can find the DC next turn, that would be pretty good. Uh, as he just forfeits, so... <laughs> Very interesting round one game, but looks like our opponent didn't have a good hand, and yeah, so let's move on to our second game, and we receive a chess. So, let's 
Let's go ahead and find another opponent here. We find um, Volcanion. So this should be a really, really fun match. Uh, it should be good for us if we manage to get our Evelto set up. Not Evelto, Garbler set up. And we win the coin flip, so that is really, really nice. Because if we can get our Garbler set up, we can block all their ability, steam ups, and flash fires if they're running, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Flareons. And this is not a bad starting hand at all. Um, this is not a bad starting hand. So, definitely looks like he's running a Volcanion with that deck box and so what, uh, what not, so. It would be great if he can lead off with the Volcanion and get it stuck in active. Oh, Volcanion EX, not the regular Volcanion. Um, we are going to go ahead and draw a card. Sycamore, not too bad. Snorlax! Wow! I did not expect that at all. So, looks like it is not Volcanion, or he's running some really, really interesting Volcanion Snorlax decks. So, we're going to go ahead and grab an Axe Elixir right here. And we're going to Ultra Ball. Get rid of this. And this. And we can pop down a Trubbish. And we are going to get rid of the Sycamore and the Max Elixir to put down a Shaman. So this is really, really interesting. I've never faced off against Snorlax GX before, but um, he is very energy costly, so this should be a good matchup for me. Uh, as we are going to pull into more cards here, find another Evelto, another Evelto, and yeah, let's just end our turn right here. Um, I am going to shame him for more cards next turn. Let's see what my opponent does here. So if he attaches a DC right now, which um, I don't think he will. This is a really, really interesting matchup. Yeah, such as a fire energy, so this could be some auxiliary. I have no idea. Um, drop down to shaman, pulling one card. So he must have a really, really bad hand right now. Um, let's see what my opponent does here. He already attached his energy for the turn, and he's going to go for a switch into the Shaman, so interesting. He's going to attach a Fighting Fury Belt to the uh, Snorlax in the back there. I'm going to go for the Trainer Mail to see what to find. Find a Fighting Fury Belt. Not bad at all. I want Fury Belt. Attached it to that. Go for the energy. Lysandra that uh, Snorlax out and then Shaman for five more cards. So, yeah, let's see what we get here. We get another DC, which is great. Um, we're gonna go for the reverse value to increase our attack damage, and we're gonna attach the Fury Belt to this Evelto in the back, and we are gonna go for the Evil Ball. So, do a good 120 damage there. Um, he currently has. 230 so another evil bull is definitely going to knock him out um things are looking pretty good for me we are getting uh, uh we're going to charge up our back of alto next turn and then probably go for the sigma um she's going to go for a energy onto the shaman so really he is really really stuck right now as, as far as i can tell and we're going to go for the sycamore we're going to get rid of super rod which is not what i want um right now Velto is probably not going to do that much this turn and we're going to go for the max elixir for a dark energy onto the this Evelto right here, so we are getting a lot of stuff that set up right now, and we're gonna go for another evil wall and take this Snorlax out, I believe, and we are able to take two prize cards. So things are looking really, really bad for my opponent right now. We got two Evelto set up ready to go with Max House. He has a Shaman in the act stuck in the active, and it looks like he has a dead hand. So yeah, it's. He decides to forfeit, so my opponent had a really, really bad hand right there, probably. Um, I can't actually even see his deck because he forfeits. He forfeited, so yeah, 
So, so far these two match. Haven't really show, shown off the power of the Belto yet, but we did show off how fast they can be set up in our second match. I was actually really, really hyped. Wait, 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 am I using the right deck? Am I using the right deck? I think I am. Um, I don't know. Um, so, so far we have shown how fast they can be set up with. So, looks like we are facing another Evelto Garbodor deck right now. Looks like. So, we are able to win the coin flip again. Um, and we're going to start off the turn. It definitely looks like he is playing Evelto with Garbodor. We do not have a, starting, a good starting hand right now. Um, this should be a really, really fun match. Kind of like a mirror match. Um, it's basically going to come down to who gets lucky with their uh, drawers. I'm going to start off with the Fright Knight Evelto, and if he is actually playing Evelto, this isn't too bad of a start. Um, yeah, so let's see what we ha we can play with here. We can attach a DCE, uh, Ultra Bowl, into a Shaman, depending on our next card, next draw. Um, if you get a Sigma on the next draw, that would also be pretty good. Um, Looks like there is some lag right now. Um, my opponent's not moving. Hmm. This is weird. So, what I am thinking right now is I'm going to attach the DCE to this Fright Knight Evelto uh, turn 1. Ultra Bowl. Uh, get rid of her Earth Valley and the Fighting Fury Belt and go for the Shaman. Then draw 4 more cards. So, uh... It looks like he is actually going to be uh, playing Evelto Garb. So we're going to attach a DCE to that. We're going to Ultra Bowl for a Shaman. Um, and let's see what we can work here with. I want to get a Trubbish and a Supporter. A Supporter that's not Lysandra. So we get a Trubbish. We're discarding three energies right now. Um, let's get a Trubbish up. And a Sycamore. We I do want to super rod back these energies as soon as possible. And we get a Max Elixir and we get a Glowstone. Um, we do not get an energy off of our Max Elixir. And this is a really bad hand. This is a really bad hand right now. Um, I do not want to discard two DCGs at all. Um, if my opponent will end, that would be great for me. Um, I discarded three of my dark energies, which is not what I want turn one. But uh, to be able to maximize my draw, I had to do it, kind of. Um, so let's see what my opponent does here. If he's able to float into uh, Evelto EX, he's going to go for the Trainer Rail. Grabs out a Max Elixir, so interesting. Does he have a Pokemon on the bench? He's going to Ultra Bowl, probably for a Evelto EX, yeah. Um, she's gonna want to get that set up right away because that thing can deal some heavy damage to me. Uh, DC and the Max Elixir. That thing. Okay, so this is very scary right now. We're gonna train him out. Hope we can find something good. Find a Fury Belt or a Max Elixir. Um, I'll take the belt. I'll take the belt. We're discarding two DCs right now, so. We only have one more left in our deck. And we discard us three sycamores. So, this is not looking good for me right now. Uh, we find an enhanced hammer, which is good. But we miss out on our energy, so that is really, really bad. We're gonna attach. Uh, we're gonna end our turn here, I believe. Because we aren't able to find a dark energy. We do manage to discard a DC on my opponent, which is great. Gonna attach another darkness energy onto it. 
Looks like he has a dead hand. We find a darkness energy right now, which is great. Um, I want to vs. No, I can't vs. Seeker. It's too risky. Um, I'm gonna go for the pushback spear. Just um, take that trubbish out and get a prize. The trainer mail, not that bad. Well, I'm just gonna go into his Avelto here. This is gonna do 70 damage to him. He finds a DCE, and that evil will is now gonna take me out. Um. Yeah, things are not looking great for me. Things are definitely not looking great for me. We're gonna go into Trubbish since we have a Flowstone. And we're gonna go for the uh, Garbodor ev Evolution. Trainer Mail. I want an Ultra Bowl. That's what I want. We find another end. There's no point of that. I'm gonna have to end here. I do not want to discard my DCs and uh, Verse Seekers. We have to get all the Evelto as fast as possible. As we do not find the Evelto. Oh, shit. And we miss our max. Um, yeah, this is looking really bad right now. We're gonna float onto the shaman and end our turn. There's nothing I can do. I have to give up prizes until I can find a Evelto. It's gonna go for the end. Please end. I really need a better hand. It's gonna go for the delinquent. Oh. Yeah, that's really bad. I'm completely stuck. And I'm gonna need a VS Seeker or a Sycamore. I, or like a Shaman next turn. Um, he used up his uh, supporter for the turn, but we know he has an end in his hand, so. This is not looking good for me. Last card is an N, and he is able to take out my Garbodor. Okay, so he went for the White Cyclone there to set up his Evolt on the back. Trainer Mill, please. Yes, Seeker. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So things are still looking horrible for me right now, especially because he got so much Evolt set up and ready to go. I'm gonna have to Sycamore. And get some intense draws right here. Okay, so let's do let's do this. We're gonna super rod. We're gonna super rod back energies. This is the least I can do. And hopefully we can hit a max elixir here because we super rotted. So we are able to hit a max elixir here. We are going to go for the Shaman. Find another Darkness Energy, so... We have some stuff we can play with right now. Not necessarily the best. But, we can try to play around with this. Um, I do want the DCE. And another Evolto set up. Um, preferably a Fighting Fury Belt. I'm going to end next turn. He's going to attach another energy. And he's going to end. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I do want a uh, Double Colorless, a Fighting Fury Belt, and uh, a Trubbish. Not bad. We don't have any more Shaman stuff, though. That's a problem. Um... We're going to attach this Darkness Energy to this Evolto, if he lives, um, to accelerate more energy. He's going to go for the Max Elixir, please don't hit. He hit, um, this is really bad. Um, we do not have any Shamans left, which is not what I want to deal with right now. Um, he's going to go for the Evo Ball, 100 damage. He's gonna be able to take me out next turn, but yeah, yeah. Find a sycamore, great. Um, gonna fear about. On so sorry about that. We have to stop the recording there. I had some issues. Um, so we are gonna sycamore right here. We're gonna have three cards left, and we're gonna have to take three prize cards, which is not a very good situation, which is not a great situation to be in. 
Um, we do not get a DC. We go for the Oblivion win. And get a Darkness Energy onto my Veltal. We're gonna go for the end next turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to end next turn. If he has a Lysandra here, we just basically lose. Yeah, so things aren't looking too hot for me right now. Um, if he takes out my Velto, he currently has 160 HP. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150, we miss the KO. Go for the Y Cyclone, that's even worse for me. Um, actually, I see a way, if we draw into a deep, oh he's going to attack it to Shaman, well played. I'm gonna go into the shaman here. If we can find a DC right now, that would be great. So let, let's do some calculations. 20, 40, 60. If we attach the DC, that is 100 damage. And that is 20, 40, 60, 80. 180 damage. 107, uh, 180, 190. We are unable to one-shot. Wait, wait, so... Let's see here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 170, 190. Yeah, we're un unable to knock it out, but we just have to do this. We are going to go for the VS Seeker into the left center. If you attach the energy, that would have been better for me. But we are gonna go for the evil wall right here. And 210, unable to knock it out. Wait, we knock it out. Oh. That changes a lot of things right there. That just changed a lot of stuff right there. Because if he is unable to knock me out in one turn right now, I can VS Seeker for the end next turn. Yeah, I can be a seeker for an end next turn. Um, yeah, so he's gonna attach a double DC on uh, his Velto here. Um, yeah, this is not looking too hot for me. He's gonna be able to knock me out with the evil bull right here. He's gonna stick more as well. Um, Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, one hundred twenty. Max energy is one hundred thirty. He cannot knock out this Avalto next turn. Finally, attach one energy, but it's not like I can knock him out either. So, yeah. So we're gonna need a belt. Not uh, but we don't have any anymore. That's the problem. Um, we are gonna attach an energy, and then go for the end. I'm gonna try and shut him down. Yeah, let's do this. It's gonna go for the trainer now. I think we lose right here. I don't see any way of me winning this. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, says belt, um, maybe, I'm, I'm probably not doing my math right, but, um, he can't knock me out right here, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, yep, there's no way he can knock me out unless he has, he gets another DC, and 
it that's just basically killing himself. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then I can knock him back out. Um, currently he has two hundred and ten HP. He goes for the Dunkwin. Oh, yeah, that, that that that's GG. GG. Um, he's reducing his damage though, so maybe that's something. We we'll have to get off the energy on the next ball. We have to get off the energy on the next ball to be able to win. We do have a few energies left in our deck, so that shouldn't be too hard. We got the Evelto. Last thing we need. That was the last thing I needed. Yeah. That is going to be GG, and we are unable to win. So, depending on how much damage he does here, I will I would have done 20 more. No, so he attaches the energy, so this is how much damage he would have done. I would have done 150. 150 plus 90, 240, that would have definitely been enough to take him out. Yeah. I could have won that match right there. But, unfortunately, we didn't get an energy. So, we should have dropped down our Volto, but there's nothing we can do about it now. And yeah, so, we're gonna find one more match, and I think that's gonna be it, so. Uh, looks like my opponent is running some... Magnetism, um, Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Zorark, Magnetism. I'm not sure. Um, we want a coin flip, so that's pretty good. And it looks like our starting hand is not very good. I'm still quite salty about that last match. If we draw into an energy, we would have definitely have won. Because there was no way he could have set up another Evolto in time. But, yeah, that is how the game goes, so... Looks like we have a really bad starting hand right now. Nothing I could do. Just gonna drop down to Parallel City. And a touch of energy. Because why not? Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. So we're going to start off with a very bad hand. And looks like our opponent is running uh, what I like to call Vespa Queen. No, not Vespa Queen. Just Blitzel. So this isn't a good matchup for me if he has Blitzel. If you don't know, Zestrika has an attack that allows uh, him to uh, OHKO Evelto pretty easily. So... It's not a really good matchup for me. So he's running Mewtwo, Zepstrika, Zork. Very clunky in my opinion, but um yeah, so we're gonna go for the Sycamore. That's a way better starting hand than me. Yeah, so Mega Mewtwo Blit uh Zepstrika Zorok. Well, I'm just gonna attach an energy to the Mewtwo. Let's see what we get off here. We're gonna get a Sycamore, so basically use it or lose it. So, uh, things aren't looking really good for me right here. Yeah, so... GG. We're gonna concede this match because that, that, that was just terrible draws. There was nothing I could do about that. Um... We're gonna go find one more match because that one did not count at all. Um...
So it looks like we are battling Alakazam. I'm not sure. If it's another Evoto, then I am gonna release all my all my anger on this person right here. Um, doesn't look like it's a Evoto deck though. So Let's see what he's running. He or she. So our starting hand is pretty good this time, unlike uh, our last match. We can attach a DCE, attach a Fighting Fur Belt, go for the Train Mail. I always start off with Lysandra for some reason. I might reduce this to one Lysandra in, uh, for in the future. So, looks like our opponent is taking some time to decide what Monty Trip she or she should put out. So we are gonna draw a card right here. Draw a VS Seeker, not what I wanted. Um looks like he's running uh Evelto Garbier as well. Let's go for the Ninja Boy start. Ooh, fancy. Really fancy. Um it's gonna go into the Velto right here. Um Yeah, so that's what we can do. We're gonna drop a Parallel City. We're gonna drop a belt. We're gonna drop a DCE. Drop a trainer mill and shaman or N N. Your these cards I don't want to discard, so I'm gonna go with N. Find enhanced hammer, which is not bad. Ten we can work with. We can work with. Um, yeah, let's go and finish our. Turn. We are gonna attach the energy. Delinquent. Oh, okay. So that's that, that, that's not too bad. We're gonna go discard two energies and a float. I'm keeping in hands just in case. Uh, he's gonna attach a DC. He does not. So he's gonna deal 100 damage with Evil Ball, and we are gonna have to get a monster up next turn, or else we can't do anything. So. We are going to attach the energy and go in for the second war. So we are managed to get we managed to get another mod set up. If we manage to hit this max elixir, of course, and we do so, that's great. And we are able to increase our damage with this parallel valley, so that is also great. Um, we are going to go for the west cyclone or the evil wall. We are going to go for the. Why cycling here? Because either way, we're not killing, and I would rather give my DC to my belt on the back. So yeah, let's do that. Um, and I believe he can't kill me now, so that was actually a really, really good play. Um, if he doesn't get another mount set up right now, I think he just wins. So, so go attach another energy. So. Gonna be a seeker, probably delinquent again. It's gonna ninja boy, huh? I don't get this play. Well, well played. You have a good deck. Just gonna attach the DC to this guy and go for the evil wall. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. We didn't manage to win the Velto mirror matches, unfortunately. So, but I believe I showed how good this deck is. So, hope you all enjoyed this video and see you next time.